Hey there folks, got a PU battle for you today. My opponent is Jade Hex, and uh, I've battled Jade Hex several times. I've never beat him. I once tied with him, but I've never beaten him. And I've also, I think, only won one PU match in all the times I've had PU battles. Um, yeah, I, I just don't really... I've never really put the effort into designing a really good PU team, because PU changes so often. Uh, so for instance, my Laron is back out in the lead slot rather than Camerupt, who I used to have, because Camerupt is back to NU. Uh, my opponent... Uh, is using a pretty good, uh, a pretty interesting team. I really thought that Persian, uh, Raichu, and Leafeon were all NU, but I checked, and they're all PU, and kind of surprised me, especially Persian. Persian I really thought was NU, but what else? Anyway, on the switch there, uh, so I lose my lair on first turn, uh, as I set up my rocks. I was expecting him to go for rocks, thinking that I'd switch out, but, eh, whatever. So I get my reflect up, and that's going to be nice. Uh, he's, his, uh, Leafeon is going to, um, go ahead and go for Yawn, um, which, meh, okay. Uh, I, and now he's going to go out into his, uh, Graveler right here. I'm just going to switch, I'm just going to do a double switch. Go out into Diana, who is my Behim. He's going to go out and set up rocks, and I'm going to go for a Psychic. Now, the Behim is a way, way underappreciated Pokemon. Look at how much... That took him out from basically full HP. Not sure if he was running a Violite. Now, I do have Life Orb, but the real key to this is that I have the, um... Is that I have the analytics, so when I go second, which is usually because Behim is so slow, it's going to hit, I think, 1.5 times as hard. Uh, so now he goes out into his Grumpy here, expecting to be able to wall me, and I go for Psychic, and look at how much damage that does. Now, granted, that was partially due to the fact that it was a crit. I'm not sure if the analytic boost helped there, but even with a crit, even you know, whether that was analytic or not, that's still an amazing amount of damage. I'm not sure why he stayed in and went to the Psychic. I just go for the T-Bolt, and it is going to take him out, thanks to Analytic. So, you know, this is really strange for me. I'm like, I'm, am I actually winning? And so here I'm thinking he's just going to go for another U-turn, and I can, I think, based on the previous damage, I could take that. But instead he goes for the Fake Out. I didn't think he had the Fake Out. I thought he was, I guess, a really weak Bandit set. I don't know. Um, or maybe a Scarf set. But anyway, Diana is taken out. I really didn't want to switch on that last turn, because with... Uh, Diana's speed being so low, I don't think I would have ever had a chance to recover. Anyway, I go out into my extreme speed Lanoon uh, to go for the uh, to just take him out, and that actually works well. So I'm pretty happy there. Not, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to set up a belly drum here. Actually, now might have been a good opportunity uh, if I were running Lumberry and not whatever stupid item I'm running. Um, yeah, so the deal with Lanoon is, you know me, I don't sav, I don't use Pokogen except for, for teams that I only plan on ever using once, and I don't consider my PU teams to fall in that category, so I legitimately sav, or no, I legitimately breed all my Pokemon, and when I can't breed, you know, I get them in legitimate trades, so that Lanoon was, got, I uh, got it in a trade, and its stats are crap, but it is extreme speed, uh, it is an extreme speed belly drum Lanoon, so, uh, but yeah, you know, as you've seen, if you've ever seen any other battles with this team, it's really hard to pull off uh, Extreme Street Belly Drum Lanoon, because whenever, whenever anyone sees Lanoon, they know what's coming. It's not like it's, uh, it, you know, it's not like it's this big mystery. So, uh, anyway, I've been doing a lot of talking. Uh, I'm letting, I am letting my, uh, my Deb, my, um, Meganium exist for Sleep Potter. I, I'm not sure why I use the HC there. I think I was expecting to switch. Whatever. Anyway, I've got a, uh, I've got some um, screens up, and I go out into my Fraggle, who just saw the hit. I'm thinking, okay, I can go for a Fire Fang or something. He's going to do a lot of damage. So go for the Fire Fang. He's protecting himself. Now he's going to go for the Wish, and I'm thinking, okay, well now Fire Fang time to do some work. What the nothing? I'm like, what? Turns out, Lethal is bulky as heck. Leafeon, extremely, extremely bulky. Um, especially, I guess, the set. Uh, yeah, now he gets a crit up, uh, whatever. Uh, so my Dragon Tail misses. You know, these, this is what you get for running Hustle. Um, you know, it happens. You're, when you use Hustle, your attacks miss. So if you don't want hacks, don't use Hustle. But I go for the Outrage here, just thinking maybe it'll do a little more damage. And it does a little more damage, but really not that much. So I have no idea how I'm going to get past this Leafeon, because... Uh, I mean, okay, so maybe Waylord can use Ice Beam uh, to hit her on the special side, but 
I'm not really seeing that helping that much because it's non-stab, it's a uh, scarfed whale lord. Yeah, I don't know. So, I, you know, this battle was going really well, and now I'm down to three Pokemon, none of which I don't, I think, can take on this Leafeon. Um, so, <laughs> sucks. He goes ahead and goes for the Protect, so he's going to know what I'm locking myself into. He sees that it's Ice Beam, and he's obviously going to go out into Golduck next turn. That's the smart move. I decide, what the hell, I'll stay in, go for the Ice Beam, get some damage off on it, and then I can just switch it out into my Sleeping Meganium next turn anyway, no problemo. And that's exactly what I do, and I think, well, you know, yeah, these guys often run, um, really, this, this, uh, Golduck, uh, Golduck would be a much more effective, uh, person, Pokemon to have in the slot that I have for Waylord. And one of these days I might go ahead and breed myself a Waylord, uh, uh, sorry, a Golduck. Yeah, holy crap, so that was Life Orb, but he did manage, so he's got the Rain Dance and the Swift Swim with the Rain Dance. Um, yeah, so he's going to go for Hidden Power, probably Grass, maybe Electric, and that is going to, I don't know if it's going to take, yeah, it's going to take out Starbuck. Starbuck may have a lot of HP, but it has awful defenses. So, I'm going to go now out into Lulun. Uh I'm hoping that maybe an Extreme Speed can take him out. But I don't think it's very likely, so go for the E-Speed, and he survives on a little bit. Hydro Pump does not miss, that would have been nice, but it doesn't matter, I couldn't have done anything to Leafeon anyway. So, good game, Jade Hex. Uh, PU, I don't... Ah! Yeah, I'm not really very good at PU, and I make no apologies. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. So long.